consideration of a motion to uh, appropriate $100,000 to the Shelbyville Bedford Partnership for fiscal year 24, which amount will be paid from the hotel motel fund. Do I have a motion to approve that? Yes, we need to defer it till after we have our study session workshop next week. Why? We had a meeting scheduled for today. That was originally scheduled for today mm -hmm. at noon or so. Right. And that did not happen. To my understanding, that we were notified on Friday or Monday with no explanation. Scott, would you fill us in on that? Uh, yes, ma'am. We received notification last week from the chairman of the Shelbyville Bedford Partnership Board that they declined to meet at this time until the city council has a clear direction on where they want to go with that kind of development. Well, we asked for a meeting with the the entire council and I understand they wanted to do that or wouldn't do it or ended up meeting just with the mayor. Uh, no, sir. The, the chairman did meet individually with the mayor. Correct. And at that time, it was pretty much decided for the city council to meet first and determine which direction we want to go with the economic development. And then, if council is willing, we could re issue the invitation for both parties to come together. At the, at the meeting that we had the other day with the chair with the chairman and he asked for that meeting we had re requested I think three or four items for them to consider for us to re fund them or uh, to fund that uh, that uh, group the partnership and uh, the chairman told me that uh, one of the items that we had asked for uh, an important one, that they were not the board of the of the partnership would not uh, do that, and then I asked him about the other ones, and there was no clear response on on whether they would do the other items that we asked for before we gave that one hundred thousand dollars for them to uh, to use. So that's where we stand right now. I uh, asked him about the meeting that we had. He said, "No, we're not coming to the meeting." Well, I see no reason to uh, why are we meeting when we don't know what the partnership is going to request or agree to or not agree to. If they haven't put their will to this, this, or this, we want to do this, this, or this, then we've got to make a decision whether to accept it or not and become partners again. Can we not just table it? Yeah. Dan, or this motion. If it doesn't get a second, then it will be what? Well, we don't have a motion on the floor right now unless okay. Council Member Feldhouse would like to make his statement a motion. You just said, yeah, I, I think like, we should defer it. So. I think we need to defer it because I think as the partnership is asking, this council needs to figure out what we're going to do on economic development. The, everybody else that's giving money to the partnership is not giving it based on a tit for tat trading out a deal they're giving money to economic development to help the citizens of shelbyville attract industry get retail development bring in motels restaurants without having to have egos or strings attached to the money because that's what they do so well, this council needs to sit down and decide what they're going to do we well, if you don't give them any money, why do you even want to be on the board? We don't have an industrial park. Why do we need to kick in money? There's no question putting industry. If we get there, yeah. so we're gonna pay. They're making what two hundred and seventy something thousand dollars a year in salaries to attract businesses. Well, we actually two hundred and seventy thousand. Oh, oh no! Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it amazes me that. We hired the economic development uh, developer 
and all of a sudden there are three additional employees, I think. And of course, you know, I'm, I'm not sure, but they'll probably want to get paid. So maybe they are, but we didn't ask for that at the beginning. And that's one of the things that I really can't understand when they ask for reasons the city does not give money. Um, that's one of them for me. Um, I, I don't piggyback for me. Y'all know I'm a quiet city council, <laughs> but I'm not going to be quiet. Um, Mr. Fathouse, you just said if you're not going to be on, the, if you're not going to give money, why be on the board? I guess my mentality is how many board members are there? How many board members are there? Oh, are you asking? Yes. Um, oh, no. There's seven. Seven. There are nine. Seven now. Nine. Seven. Nine. Nine. So they took us off because we didn't give the money. So I'm, my question is, are the other, other seven giving the giving the hundred thousand dollars? I'm just asking. Well, the, as far as county members, the two county members, the rest of them is for. They are not, as far as I know, giving one hundred thousand dollars. No. The only well, one I know of that was was funding for this year was a, those two county members. Also, what amazes me as I look at the um, audit that that came through finally, um, I think I saw eight hundred and fifty dollars in contributions. Mm -hmm. When I know for a fact that there was a twenty thousand dollar contribution. Recently, right. And those type of things, that's another reason when they ask, why isn't the city giving $100,000? That's one of that's another one of my reasons. Right. It just doesn't add up. Right. When the economic developer came in, I remember the words. We will be self-sufficient. We will be uh, independent in just a short period of time through our uh, donations, our businesses that we are going to get sponsored, and that type of thing. When they ask why we don't give the money, that's another one of my reasons. And I'm being honest, I was on the fence, really. Right. But I felt insulted as a city councilman that when, you know, traders heard that thing, and I don't get into that. Right. But we are the one that put up the $300,000. Right. But nobody from the city was invited right. to the cookout. Right. And I don't have to be in paper because I don't like being paper. And I it's just not think a... that we put that money up, somebody in here should have been represented. And oh, it's it very disrespectful for the mayor not to be um, represented, if anybody, on this board. And it's very so disrespectful specific. because those invites were specific to those people that were wanted there. And I just think it's very disrespectful. There is no way I can see any other difference that was very disrespectful. And it doesn't bother me that, that I didn't get an invitation, but the way it's being flaunted. So if you want to say egos or tit for tat, uh, those words, I think that was a slap. I think that was probably the biggest, probably now the biggest reason I choose not to fund. So when they ask, why don't we fund? Marilyn has given several this evening. I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Mr. Mayor, we have a motion on the floor to defer this item. And so I, I, would, call, I would call for a second at this mock time. Um, wouldn't this or would it not be the appropriate time to to move forward with economic development amongst the city of Shelbyville? Um, I don't believe that. Is there a hand, show of hands? Is there something? Because I believe you may want to do a show of hands. How many people want to get past this? Well, we we have we. I'm sorry. This is a business meeting. It's a little bit different than a study session we really aren't even supposed to be discussing this at this point with the motion on the floor i really need the mayor to call for a second on that motion i'll ask for that second now this is a motion to defer this item okay so hearing no second okay all right we'll move on from that well hearing no second that motion dies right so then you would ask for any other motions. Uh, 
All right. Do we have a, any other motions? A motion no. to, to not fund that? A motion to do so. Is that appropriate, Lisa? No, you just ask for any other motions. Any, any, other any motion? council member do can make another another motion? motion. Yes, I make that motion to move forward to take some uh, type of uh, step to to develop our own economic developer, uh, whether that be um, holding a special session or what have you. The, the reception really just put it over the top for me on yesterday or whenever it happened. And I looked at the phone this morning and pictures everywhere and no city representation. And, and, and one, one thing I didn't throw in, I'm not a robot. And Project Turquoise, Orange, Project whatever, did, it just didn't jive with me. We are all sworn here as elected officials. Yeah. And we know when our attorney says this stays in the room, we don't let it outside the room. Why don't we have um, confidence of a developer to speak with us exactly what's coming, what we're looking at, how are we going to vote on a project cardinal and not knowing what it is, which it, and then it turns out to be a chemical plant. Yeah. Had we known that before? So that's just another reason. Okay. I'm going. I'm going to rein this in a little bit, Mr. Mayor, if I can. <laughs> I can. We ha currently already have a workshop set for next Thursday, Thursday. Uh -huh. um, of next week concerning how the city wants to move forward with economic development. So, if as far as this item is concerned, your motion needs to be specific to the funding of the partnership. So. Councilmember Feldhouse made a motion to defer the item till after the workshop on the development. He didn't get a second on that. So now I kind of need a motion either to defer the item, a motion to fund it, or a motion or nothing. Just don't say anything and it'll die for lack of a motion. So those are your three options. Council? Mr. Mayor, I'll ask for you to call for a motion. Because we do have a meeting. We do have a meeting scheduled for next Thursday to discuss economic development. Yes, yeah. go ahead. Yes, the meeting next Thursday, 12 o'clock noon on the 19th, is for the determination what direction the city council wants to go with economic development. And from that meeting, we're hoping to get a clear direction from the city council and then in the July, or excuse me, November meeting cycle, it'll be an agenda item at the study session on October 30th, and then for council to make a decision during the meeting on November 9th. I have a question. Can I make a motion? Yes. This is a meeting. This is a failed meeting. All right. Because of the situation the city finds itself in at this time, I'll make a motion. Three part motion, if you'll be permitted. One, the city hire an economic developer. Two, that person be hired by the city council. And three, the mayor supervise the application process and schedule interviews for that process, those prospects. Second. Okay, wait, 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 wait a minute, wait, wait a minute. So you can't. The, the city needs to get, we're, we're not gonna sell our hands forever. We need to finish off the- You, Mr. Is that in compliance with the charter? It's not. I have no idea. I asked you, did I make a motion? You, you can. You're the city manager. I think that's right. It's a meeting. I'll it's a, it's a not meeting. to fund the partnership. Okay. That's all I'm going to do. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. I think that one's good. But well, I can't. I'll rescind mine first and let's take care of it. City manager Collins, I think. We've been done. I think council member um, Christie is wanting to kind of have the council a little bit more hands on. And I do agree with that for hire of the economic developer? I, and I'm not disputing that, okay. but we're going to have to make a change to the charter to do so. Oh, is it that way? Yes, sir. I mean, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Right. You only have... We hire you, Lisa, and we hire Kay, and it takes it, and the council you... wants to do it, and you have a majority of the council vote to do it, get it done. And that's fine. Yeah. But that's a separate so issue outside of what we're here for off. right now. Yeah, okay. So I and I and I understand that, Councilmember Christie. I'm not trying to to dissuade you from that. If you want to hire an economic develop developer and have them under the direction of the council, 
then you will have to change your charter in order to do so. And, and that's a whole, that's, that's yes, that's a yes. No, they can be under, they can be just like you are on a, on a daily basis. You're I'm a charter, I'm a charter officer. It's okay. in the charter that the council hires me and Kay and the city manager. So the, have to add that too, as an economic the charter would have to be changed in order to do that. And that's a whole, that's a whole nother meeting, a whole nother direction. Right now, since you rescinded your motions, you made a mo and you never got a second. Um, well, maybe you did get well, we a second. second yeah. You did oh, get a second. Got a second. Bobby has but you rescinded your motion. Do you agree with him rescinding his motion? I'm confused. Uh, I'm going to bring you me right too. Back up as soon as we vote. Okay, no, Council yeah, Member yeah. Council Member Christie has made a motion to hire an economic developer and put him under the direction of the city manager and he have the mayor have the mayor and city council city do the hiring process. Hired by the city council. Yes, sir. And that the mayor will supervise. And I believe you seconded that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you Did think it was Mr. Turnbow? Motion, she doesn't have a motion on the floor right now. What does she have a motion on the floor for? To determine, to have a meeting to determine direction of economic development. Oh, damn. Did you withdraw your motion? No. So, see, we, we've We're got multiple no. motions. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and you wonder why the partnership doesn't want to sit down with you. You don't even know what you want to do yet. I wish I had a voice to sing it louder, but. I mean, it's just a bunch of buffoonery. It's ridiculous. That's why people in the public are laughing at us over this. Because you do not know what you want to do. I know I'm going to give somebody $100,000 of these people's money and us have zero control over it. It'll never happen. We don't know anything. We don't know nothing. That partnership rolls around here and get your pictures made and all take the credit for this, that, and the other. We throw down three hundred thousand dollars for a Chick fil A. And the look out there now they are getting their picture made and it's the greatest thing ever happened. Yeah. No. Yeah. I'll give them told to give them a yeah. dime and listen, we don't have some control. No. I can't, I can't you know, believe that. And we have zero control of that money. Yeah, let's back Mr. Mayor, let's decide what we're gonna do and, 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 and so you're not straightened out yet. I am straightened out, I think, maybe. Um, you have a motion on the floor. Your motion is first. You have a motion on the floor to do a workshop on economic development. We have we table. have that already on the right. table, so will you rescind your motion? You made a motion to do a workshop on economic development. Yes. That's already in the process. Will you rescind that motion? Yes. Okay, so that motion's been rescinded. Now, Council Member Christie, you were next. You have a motion on the floor? Yes. To do, um, let me read you again. A few minutes ago, to hire a city to hire an economic developer, Would that person be hired by the city council, and the mayor supervise the application process and schedule interviews for those prospects. We won't need the meeting next week. Mr. Turnbow, I believe you seconded that motion. Do you want to leave that motion on the floor yes, with the understanding that that's a complicated situation? So even though you're making the motion to do it, the charter will have to be changed and there's a whole process we'll have to go through to get that done. Okay. Yes. Okay. So council member Christie made that motion. Council member Turnbow seconded it. You want to leave it? You're ready for a roll call. You're making a roll call uh, to approve. Council Member Christie's motion. Right. Uh, Council Member Hale. Yes. Council Member Ewing. Yes. Council Member Feldhouse. No. Council Member Turnbow. Yes. Council Member Christie. Yes. Who did I miss? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, Miss <laughs> Stephanie's not here. Okay. Uh, so that did pass with four votes for yes, one vote no. Right. We have a motion for Mr. Turnbow. Mr. Turnbow made a motion to defer the item to pay $100,000 to the partnership. I made a motion not to pay them. Not to defund. That's, 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 yeah, not, oh, not you made a motion them. to not pay them. Okay. Right. Okay, do we have a second on that motion? To not, not pay them. Second. Okay. 
We'll have need a roll call vote on that. Do we have any more discussion on that? Anyone need to discuss before we take that vote? Okay, you're right. voting on not funding the one hundred thousand dollars to the partnership. Right. Councilmember Feldhouse. No. Councilmember Ewing. Yes. Councilmember Hale. Yes. Councilmember Christie. Yes. Councilmember Turnbow. Yes. That motion passed to not fund the partnership. All right. I believe we're ready to move on. Yes. 